So I already posted a video where I talked about three signs that indicate we are inside our comfort zone. In this video, I'll share seven ways to get out of it. Number one, start with something small. Do not try to incorporate a very big change because change is usually uncomfortable and our brain refuses to accept sudden change. Try to change something small. Make a tiny change to your routine and slowly move forward. Number two, don't try to change a lot of things at once. So here's a classic mistake that we make. We tell ourselves, okay, starting Monday, I'm going to wake up early, spend less time on my phone, go for a walk, meditate, do yoga, read a few pages and eat healthy. We got to realize that all of these are separate changes that we're trying to incorporate into our lives where each in itself takes a lot of effort. Trying to focus on all these at once may work for a few days, but we cannot stick to it. Change one thing at a time, get used to it and then move to the next one. Number three, try new things. Do things that you usually don't do or haven't done before. Try a new restaurant, join a new club, volunteer for something. Do something that you haven't done all by yourself before. Talk to someone that you meet often but don't really talk a lot. These small changes, these small risk taking will help us to broaden our mindset and to push our limits. Number four, always have I might learn something attitude. Whenever I go to the bookstore, it becomes really hard for me to choose books because I think that what if I take these five books and there are better books than this? It made it harder for me to choose books. But then I started telling myself that there's always something to learn from each and every book. Similarly, there's always something to learn from every situation that we face and every people we meet. So keep reminding yourself that there's always something to learn and look out for it. Number five, fill the gap. We want to try new things, but often we don't start them because we don't know what to do or how to do it. Instead of leaving it, we can try to fill the unknown gap by learning about it. If you think that not knowing about something is stopping you from getting started, then get to know about it. Start learning and then take the steps. Number six, fear is your friend, not enemy. Instead of approaching fear as if it's something that shouldn't be there, Try approaching it as a part of you, a part of you that's trying to help you. Fear is simply telling you all the ways in which things might go wrong. That's a good precaution. You can actually do things better considering all these possibilities. It's only a matter of mindset shift and fear can become a very helpful feeling. Number seven, welcome ups and downs. The more we resist change, the harder it gets. Always try to accept the change or challenge that comes your way. This makes it easier to think about the next steps. Acceptance is harder, but it makes everything else easier. So I hope these seven steps to get out of your comfort zone will be of great help to you. Leave your feedback in the comments. Thank you.